Good morning. You are tuned into twitch.tv slash bedsores, coming to you live from my sick couch in the chronic illness autonomous zone. I'm your host, Alyssa, here with my co-host and transcriptionist, Earl. Let's get some rest today. Welcome to Tetris Plus. We've played the sequel of this game by the same developer, Jalico. So I won't go into a whole song and dance about them. When we played this game last time, we made a mistake. We spent a lot of time playing the solo mode that was focused around getting pictures of girls out. And you can understand how I was waylaid by this. And then right at the end of my time with this game, I was like, oh, what's this puzzle mode? And it turned out to be the thing that mattered. So in this game, we're going to make the opposite of a mistake. When the professor touches the ceiling, the game is over. We better hope that doesn't happen to me. Tetris Plus is not on Fight Kid. Tetris Plus 2 is, but we missed that opportunity. Let's start with easy. Eight stages just to get our, get our land legs. This is the newly discovered pyramid, isn't it? Right. Professor, look! I found a secret path! Look at her face. I'll go investigate. Wait for me! Look! Blocks are in the way. Let's figure out how to escape. We'll do that. When the professor touches the ceiling, the game is over. This is time attack, too. Interesting. Ah, no kick, no wall kick. Are there guidelines at this point? So this is a little bit before the guideline was super formalized. The inflection point with guideline Tetris is Tetris World, right? That's when uh, the Tetris company started really, really pushing it. Sometimes the professor will take a little nap. So this is training the same skills as Cheese Race, which I've talked about before. That's your ability to get through garbage. Indeed, the versus mode sends cheese to the bottom of your opponent. This cabinet has this weird feature whereby you can't play with another opponent at this time. If you want, they can also be playing their own game of Tetris Plus solo on the right side of the screen. Should have happened a lot earlier. Where's the door? Pyramid's collapsing! Run! Everything is destroyed. Let's try next level. We'll try again. What's cool about this mode is that you can just dump pieces. It's totally fine, and no one can stop you. This game's got endings. We, of course, are going to take the extreme route. Oh, this sucks. Alright, that'll do it. It's a heart. No, don't climb up! You son of a bitch. And now you give me the two pieces I need at the start. Fucking hell. RNG game. But we've made a little heart out of a bigger heart. Isn't that interesting? We're gonna want to see as many of these endings as possible today. New music. Come on, remember your cheese training. Remember Grandpa and his cheese barn. So let's note here that this game is not trying to be a fighting game analog. This game is not doing a color matching stacker thing. This game is doing what, for example, Cleopatra Fortune was doing, as others have pointed out. This is a block stacking game. I'm covering my holes left and right. You should never do that. Don't cover your holes, folks. Make a hole, gentlemen! Make a hole! Move it! Uh, okay. Where is the hole made from? It is given to us by the grace of God. Don't go up there. Don't go up there, you idiot. Stupid professor. Where is make a hole from? Oh, you meant like a... Sorry. Let's watch the video. I need to get to this video with only two words. Sugar. Gay. Make a hole, gentlemen! Make a hole! Move it! Sugar gay! Who says sugar gay? I'm gonna your fucking ass! Nobody has two wolves inside them. The original story that people take that joke format from is just like a frankly racist appropriation of indigenous culture, supposedly. Nobody's got two wolves. 
You've got one for Sona. At least one. Start there. You can have a wolf and a dragon. Hey, anyway, let's press this button. It was a rocket switch! Help! What if your fursona is two wolves? That's fine. If you make operations as illustrated... Oh, I was hoping that the secret code we entered would make it so we could be the assistant rather than the professor. Can I have two wolves inside me but not in a furry way? No. You have to accept being a furry a little bit. This is one of the few games that I think that I could get a one point clear on stream. Treasure. Nothing! Cow statue. This, you crushed the Spelunky Man. I did. He deserves it for being a grave robber. Yeah, very weird set of downstacking priorities compared to regular Tetris. Very well said. We got a kind of Octorok thing? Stage like this, it really depends so much on your starting pieces. So there's a lot of RNG involved. That said, it's still, like, mostly just based on your skillet. Cheese. Okay, we want to keep the stack as flat as possible. The basic theory is that if you have stacked over a hole and you are trying to get down, you are going to have to clear everything over that hole in order to stack it down. Everyone who had a hit vine is preserved in amber after 2017. It's true. Our grave robbing professor is very happy. Those treasures look magnificent. You're absolutely right. How are we going to get out of here? Your own? They died there, consumed by greed. I must have done it wrong. I mean, what a delightful choice to have this replayability based on endings. The endings not being super substantial, but just being like cute little, cute little things for a player to get. That's nice. Big Wooden Bridge says it just right. Closing the case for all time. This game is just like Shadow the Hedgehog. Which Texas Bach is the lamest? I am, because I'm a disabled person. I'm a cripple. Don't use that word here. <laughs> Calling things whack. It's hair, whack. It's gear, whack. It's jewelry, whack. It's foot stance, whack. The way that he talks, whack. The way that he doesn't even like to smile, whack. Me, I'm tight as fuck. The T block is unlike all the other blocks in a very important way. Here's the eyepiece. It's got four parts. I'm going to do an operation where I'm going to color in alternating squares on this thing. So I have a black square, a white square, a black square, a white square. If I do this with the O piece, it's pretty easy as well. Black square, white square, black square, white square. But if we try to color this T piece in, something weird happens. We have to color in three blocks. There is no way for you to create an alternating pattern on this block where there's two white and two black. You can't do it. No other Tetramino shares this property. This property is called parity. Whenever you add a T-piece, you add an odd number of these squares to it, which is a problem. It means that your stack is more jagged. It is harder to stack as soon as you add in one T-piece. In order to fix it, you need to add in another T-piece. Yes, I'm a huge Ska fan. Um, I loved it when the Mighty Mighty Boss Stones were in Clueless. I would really sympathize if you were like, but Alyssa, why does coloring in the pieces like that matter? Well, it turns out that coloring in the pieces like that is a great analog for what just happens with the stack geometry as you try to place pieces. Does anybody here know Ska enough to help me rec help me remember a Streetlight Manifesto song? There is a song which has the following melody. Dun 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 da da dun. Does anybody know? Because that was the first ska song I ever heard. I I remember my mind opening. Like I didn't know you can make music like that. I don't think it's better place, a better time. Can we say Tetris is ska? No. Because 
You always put the blocks down, you never pick them up. It's actually Keys Be Nights? Nope. Is it on and on and on? Nope. 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 It's not minor key. Nope. Nope. Must not have been off. Everything goes down. Sorry, this is the this is the stream now. It's not Dear Sergio. Nope. Hold on. Finish out this run. Okay. A little kappa? I hope <laughs> Those treasures are all fake! Oh no, we got tricked! Oh darn. Final thoughts on Tetris Plus 2. Uh, what a fun game. What a, f what a fun little puzzle mode. I'm so glad that there was a time where people could take the Tetris block stacking idea, which was sort of floundering in the puzzle game scene because everyone was doing color matching stackers. This is a game where it's Tetris but something else. That feels rich enough to be like a separate thing of genuine and general um, richness. It's cool. Future Alyssa, edit in the, the little professor guy on my hand right here. This has been twitch.tv slash bedsource coming to you live from my sick couch in the chronic illness autonomous zone. I've been your host Alyssa here with my co-host and transcriptionist Earl. Take care and do your best. Welcome to the puzzle jungle. We've got fun in puzzle jungle games. You're gonna die, little man. MS Flight Simulator will ban you for setting the time and date of the sim to 9-11? Oh, jeez! I just don't think that people do stuff. 